guys welcome back to my channel today we are doing some really amazing fall DIYs to welcome you to my channel my name is Araceli this is Araceli Chan DIY I do a little bit of everything here lots of DIYs home decor home improvement if you guys are interested in that make sure you subscribe to become part of the DIY family and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video so in today's video, I'm going to share the 24 top Dollar Tree fall DIYs on my channel and some of them go back all the way to when I first started my channel. So you guys will be seeing some older and newer ones. For the first one, we're taking it all the way back to 2017, which was one of my first fall DIYs. And this is just going to be a nice, um, simple wreath that can go either in your front door or I guess wherever you want to hang it. And I just took a wreath form from Dollar Tree as well as some glitter mesh and just wrapped it all around the wreath form. And then to decorate around it, I'm just going to be using a bunch of Dollar Tree stuff including this little pumpkin wall art thing and then a bunch of fall florals. I also did tie another piece of mesh at the top and that's where I'm going to hang it from. This next one is going to be a throwback to 2018 and it's just going to be a really nice framed floral centerpiece. Sometimes I can feel her arms holding me. So I'm going to make two different framed boxes. One is going to be with frames from Dollar Tree and then also some foam board. And you guys, I... Oh, look at my little baby girl and them bold eyebrows. My gosh, why didn't anybody tell me that my eyebrows looked horrendous? <laughs> oh, my baby was so little. Um, oh my gosh, back in the day when I used to work while I had her strapped on me. Um, so I just took the little clip things off of the frames and then I just glued the glass into it and then glued the frames together to create a box. And then using foam board from Dollar Tree, I did cut out a piece that's going to be the base for the bottom and I'm just going to glue that into the frame and then also from the inside I'm going to do some glue all around the edges. Once the foam board box is made, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it with some tool and then add some um, string lights to it. And then after that, I will be using some pool noodles as like a foam, like a floral foam substitute. And then using them also as like stands for my candles. And I'm using LED candles. I'm going to be using Dollar Tree pumpkins and Dollar Tree florals. I will tell you when you get older, a place that So because this is a pretty big box, you're going to need a lot of filler flowers. And then just in the spots where you can't get flowers, you can go ahead and add some moss. Change in time. 
On this next one, it's just going to be a simple hanging basket or a basket that can just kind of sit there even though it's meant to be hung. <laughs> and then just using the very outer ring of a, a wreath form from Dollar Tree. I'm going to use two of those and then also some rope and a Dollar Tree um, like fish bowl. And I feel like I should have added a lot more of the fall florals in this one, but I just did like one stem. Alright, so my fishbowl is all wrapped in that rope and the very top of my two wreath rings were put together with some rope as well or twine. And then now I'm just going to take some Dollar Tree wire and I'm going to see how I'm doing a loop right here. I'm just going to leave that loop like that and then I'm going to wrap this around the bowl and it's going to go right in between the, the twine. And then when I get to the other end, I'm just going to tie that together and make another loop and that's where I'm going to tie the um, wreath form rings to in place. Does that make sense? <laughs> so yeah, this is where I'm gonna go ahead and attach the wreath rings to. So for this one, I'm just going to use one of these trick-or-treating pumpkin pails. You could find them at Dollar Tree. I found this one at Goodwill. They always have a bunch of these for cheaper than a dollar. And then I'm just going to take the little um, handle thing off. And at the bottom, I am going to create a hole. And I'm just going to melt through it with my uh, glue gun. And then just going in there with my scissors just to make the hole a little bit bigger. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because I'm taking two of these Dollar Tree up like fall leaf um, hand towels or kitchen towels and I'm gonna feed whatever fabric I can through that hole and then once that's all done I'm just gonna add some like leaves and then a little stem um, or like the little tree trunks that they sell at Dollar Tree you guys have seen those right I'm just gonna use that as the pumpkin stem For this pumpkin topiary, I'm going to be using one of these tin vases from Dollar Tree. I have a bunch of these in my stockpile still. And then I'm also going to be taking two of these pumpkins from Dollar Tree. I am going to be taking this top stem off and then just using some regular house paint um, to paint these over or to paint these. Yeah, to paint them. <laughs> Um, I always try to use like the Lowe's or Home Depot paint. Um, I like using like the crafters paint, but it's not as thick and it's not as, it doesn't give it as much coverage as the regular home paint um, would give it. And then for the stems, I am also going to be using those little, 
Oh, you guys, I keep forgetting words. What are these little tree trunk things called? Whatever those things called, that I'm gonna use them as a stems and then using some leaves that I just kind of had hanging around. And then I'm gonna stick a skewer right through that pumpkin and that's gonna be attaching. Um, it's gonna be easier for me to attach the top one on there so it doesn't topple over. Of course, make sure you put some hot glue on top of it just so that it stays a little bit nice, um, nicer in there. And then glue the edges of the bottom pumpkin so it doesn't fall over. And you guys notice that in the beginning I did add rocks into the vase. That way it just makes it a little more bottom heavy. And then just in those little crevices add a little bit of moss. I'm also going to add just some more um, fall florals. And then also these little decals or stickers. Um, actually they're rub-on transfers. Those are from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to use one of those that says thankful and add it right on there. For this home sign, I'm going to be using a piece of leftover flooring that I had from when we did our floors, that little pumpkin tray from Dollar Tree, and then also found these letters at Goodwill for 99 cents each. And I only found the H, the M, and the E, so of course I had to improvise to make the O. On the back, I am going to be putting a sawtooth hanger just to make sure that um, when I hang it, it's going to be nice and sturdy. And I'm going to use my either Home Depot or Lowe's paint to paint the front of this. And actually it is the bare paint, so that is from uh, Home Depot and it's just a flat matte white. And I think I did two coats of this, but then I also went in there with my sander just to distress it a little bit. To glue these, I am going to be using super glue because they are kind of heavy and I don't want them to fall off. And just to make sure, I did go on through the back and added a screw on there. And then I'm just going to do the same thing. Uh, I'm not going to screw the pumpkin on there. I'm just going to glue it and then add a little um, fall stem. Songs for a 
So this is actually one of my favorite DIYs. I don't always make wreaths, but I was really happy with this one. So on the for the actual sign, I'm using this Valentine sign from Dollar Tree, and I am gonna take that little heart off so I can save it for later, and then just gonna paint the brown side with some white paint. I'm not worried about the other side because nobody's gonna see it, so I really don't care. I'm just gonna go ahead and paint this side. And then the actual wreath, I made it with a hula hoop. I wrapped it with rope. I did run out of rope when I was making it, so I ended up covering the rest of it with some burlap. Alright, so you guys saw that that was all glued on there. Now I'm just going to take some fall florals and I know I have stuff from like Joann's, um, I have stuff from Dollar Tree and I'm just basically uh, putting it on there and adding it with some twine. For the sign, I am going to be using some Dollar Tree stickers and you know, I've been using a Cricut a lot but before I had my Cricut, I used to do all my signs with like stickers, decals or my own hand lettering. So here's just one option and you guys can see that I am sanding it down a little bit. Um, I'm sanding down the letters because they're kind of glossy and that just gives it like a faded look and a, a more like rustic or distressed look. So for this DIY, I'm going to be using one of these white chargers from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to take a dry erase marker and I'm going to add my letters on here. Once I'm happy with the font and the placement, I'm going to be using a paint marker for the fall one that's just like a black marker. And then for the love word, I think I used alcohol markers and I do have those linked in the description down below. I'm 
falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down This next one's pretty easy and again one of my favorites just using the little boxes from Dollar Tree some tea lights and then just some random fall leaves um, I'm also taking some jumbo craft sticks from Walmart I did spray spray paint the boxes and the jumbo craft sticks with copper spray paint I feel like I'm so tongue-tied right now <laughs> um, you guys can see it's like a copper spray paint or like a rose gold um, either one will work depending on what color um, you want to make this and I am just measuring out the sizes and cutting them you know to size and just gluing those on top of the boxes and I'm just gonna make create that illusion of it being a pumpkin um, on this part right here I am making a hole on the back this is before I had my drill handy um, so yeah just screwing a hole right there and I'm gonna put my string lights right through and then on the back I am gonna glue the battery pack down trust in our wings to fly sometimes we're crashing down Get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm far So for the little stem, I just cut another piece of the jumbo craft stick, wrapped it in twine, and glued it at the top, and then just gonna start decorating it with some leaves. I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. This one is probably the easiest of all of them, I think. Um, I don't know, I feel like some of them are pretty easy. So I'm just gonna take a vase from Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna use some sample white paint and just add a couple coats of this on there. And this is like the taller vase. Um, they have two different sizes of this and this is gonna be the taller one. For this one, I'm going to take one of these summer signs from Dollar Tree as well as some, as well as some um, wooden blocks. And you guys can see the sign comes with three of these pieces and I'm just going to take those apart. And then I also have that decal over there that says thankful, grateful, blessed or something like that. And just, you know, fall flowers or fall florals, whatever you want to use. Um, to make my base, I am going to be gluing some of my uh, wooden blocks together and then I am going to use some jumbo craft sticks to glue on the back of the picket fence looking things just to keep them together and I'm just going to give them a coat of paint well you know several coats of paint or however much paint you guys want to use so enough so that when you put your decal on there it's going to show through.
sure where the preview went for this one but you guys will see it here in a minute so I'm gonna take some of these signs from Dollar Tree and they did have some little knobs that I actually removed and I'm just gonna add some paint over the logo or whatever the the wording said on here and I am gonna make sure that those holes are pointing towards the top and then taking some taking some Dollar Tree stickers I'm just gonna add the F A L L to spell fall and these are actually going to go screwed on to a mop handle that I spray painted. You guys can spray paint it whatever color. And then I took the bottom piece of a solar light and stuck it at the bottom. And that's going to go right through um, one of my tin vases that's just full with rocks so that it doesn't tip over. You guys can see right here I already kind of pre-drilled the hole. And then I'm going to um, screw the sign all the way in there. And then at the top here, I'm just going to add another Dollar Tree decor thing that says welcome. It has a nice cute little scarecrow on it and obviously, you know, very, very fall themed. And then I didn't show it, but I did stick it into a vase and you guys will see it here in a minute. This next cute fall tree is going to be made with a Dollar Tree plunger handle and then just some more fall florals and also one of those um, fall bucket things. <laughs> I always say little a lot. I always say things a lot. I always say, you know, stuff that doesn't make sense and I don't know what I'm doing right now. Um, so I left the plunger thing in it because it made it easier for this to just stick right in there and it be sturdy and so it's not going to move it's not going to go anywhere and then I just wrapped the handle with some floral tape and you guys can use the white or you can paint it or you know whatever you want to do to make it camouflaged a little more um, I feel like maybe if it was like brown it would be a lot better for fall but that's all I had on hand and I didn't even think about it until now and then I'm just going to start wrapping my um, leaf bundles onto the stem so I did end up using some burlap fabric and then also some moss to fill the bottom and you guys will see it here at the end. All right, so for this tray, all I'm going to be using is some foam board and then also a Dollar Tree placemat and some Dollar Tree rope. Um, I did have some pieces of foam board just laying around, so I cut them to size and just glued them together. I doubled up on it so it's not too flimsy, and then I glued down the placemat on there. And then all I did was just wrap the Dollar Tree rope around. I feel like I used maybe a little too much. Um, I don't think I should have used that much, but it's too late now. This was years ago. So just depending on what type of look you want, you know, use that much rope on there. And then I, I also did use the rope to make some handles for it. Stay 
This one you could use as a tray or you could use as like some wall art. You don't have to put the handles on there, but if you want to hang it up, I think it'll look really nice. Also, I am using two Dollar Tree 8x10 frames. I'm taking the glass out so that I can paint it and not get any paint on the glass. And then I'm going to glue um, some florals in between. So just going to clean the glass really well. Just gluing some florals and some fall beads and right in between gluing the frames together and just adding some Dollar Tree rope. So I made this candle in a Dollar Tree mug and I used some um, candles from Dollar Tree. I just melted them down. This is whipped wax, so you're not going to get a lot. You're going to need two of these to make just one single mug candle. And then um, I just put some water on the stove. You know, I just put it on low until the wax, the wax melted. I am literally struggling so bad with my tongue tiedness. <laughs> Um, so it was easier for me to like lay it on its side and making sure that none of the water went into the wax and then just kind of twisted it around to make sure that the wax melted evenly. And then I did take out the wick because I am going to reuse that. I did use some vanilla um, essential oil from Dollar Tree, which didn't work that great. I would just use like more expensive essential oil. And then, of course, if you want to do like, you know, pumpkin spice or apple cider or something that's more in the fall um, scents, <laughs> you could do that. So I would avoid the essential oils from Dollar Tree though because they don't work very well.
this one's super simple. I just took one of these little vases from Dollar Tree that I am reusing from different projects. I just stippled on some white paint. As you guys can see, it's not completely covered, so it does have that distressed look. Just wrapped some twine around it and then added some floral bundles. On this one, we're just taking a Dollar Tree sign. I'm gonna take the little wooden frame from the top, just gonna pop that right off, and then I'm gonna paint the frame with some white paint. And then I am drilling some holes at the top because I'm gonna make a handle with some wooden beads. And then using my Canva editor, I'm just gonna create my design um, using these dimensions and then you'll see the font on here and just making sure it aligns with the way that I want my sign to look. I never felt tomorrow closing in this fast Guess time's in a rush Leaves are falling down But at least they grow back While I'm on a one-way track Now I know What it means to grow Sometimes I understand I'm making all the wrong demands in life. It never pays in the end. But still I am here, moving on like before. I'm yearning to reach the shore. Now I know. For this one, I'm using a recycled craft. So this is a Dollar Tree candle holder and then a terracotta saucer from Walmart that I glued together and painted white. And this pumpkin bowl I found at Goodwill for 50 cents. I'm not gonna do anything to it because I like it just the way it is. I wish it wasn't as shiny, but I think it's gonna be just fine. So I'm just gonna glue that on top of the candle holder and just add some greenery. Obviously you can add some fall greenery, but I'm just gonna add some moss and then like some boxwood and call it good.
for this beaded garland, I am going to take some wicker orbs from Dollar Tree. And then I also found this beaded car seat thing at a Goodwill. And I don't remember exactly how much it cost, but... I think it was like five bucks or something. Not very much. I just took all the beads off and just put them in a container because it had a lot of beads. So I'm basically just going to start threading everything through. So I'm going to do, you know, a wicker orb and then a few of the wooden beads, then the orb, wooden beads. So just thread it until I want the, or until I get the length that I want. And then using some twine, I'm going to make some tassels for the end. To make this sign, I am actually using something that I purchased at Goodwill for a couple bucks. I actually just bought this because I thought the pumpkins were ceramic, but they ended up being wax um, candles. So I didn't end up using them in the way that I thought, but either way, I kept them. So anyways, just taking all of that out and then going to take the actual box or the crate or whatever that thing is, and I'm going to give it a little paint job. When I painted it with the white paint, it created more of like a grayish look, which looks just fine. And then I am going to be using these rub-on transfers from Dollar Tree, as well as a little hook, and then also that little beaded wreath, or the beaded garland. This one is really cute and really simple so I'm just gonna take one of the rings from a wreath form from Dollar Tree I'm gonna be using some fall florals and then also some wicker orbs from Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna go ahead and thread those orbs on to my ring and just you know go with it <laughs> yeah so just thread those through and then decorate it with the fall florals Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights, won't stop for traffic lights. And I, I really want to know, really want to know, if I will ever figure out. Down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. 
even if the sky is falling down. Jumping from cliffs so high, trusting our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down, but we get up and start from the ground. And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know if I will ever figure out where the road goes. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep. All right, so we have an autumn skies and pumpkins. Spice, no, not spice, pies. <laughs> Although pumpkin spice would have been good too. So this sign is made out of Dollar Tree stuff. We have a beware sign um, from Halloween. You guys can see I kind of cut off the edges there. And then I also used some wooden blocks from Dollar Tree and I just basically glued enough to create a frame that's gonna go on top of that beware sign, obviously on the opposite side. Um, on the opposite side of the beware sign, I'm gonna paint it white and then, you know, just make it look a little distressed. And I will be staining um, my frame with just some Dollar Tree paint and water. Um, you don't always have to be all fancy. You you know, you guys can use whatever you want. But um, yeah, I just use some Dollar Tree paint. And basically, um, what I did with this sign was just use some stickers. And the stickers that I used for this, I know I'm jumping way ahead because I'm still doing one thing here. But um, yeah, I'm just going to use stickers from Hobby Lobby. And again, you know, I've been using my Cricut a lot, but I've made so many different things that doesn't require a Cricut. So I hope you guys um, do see that and don't get discouraged when you guys see me create more Cricut projects. Anyway, um, let's get back to the show.
All right, so last but not least, I actually made this as a spring DIY, but clearly it looks more like a fall DIY with like the, the stems and florals. Not really florals, it's just like the dry grass stuff that I put into it. Um, so I did take these signs from Dollar Tree. They look like tags, um, and these are from Valentine's Day. So I took four of those and then glued them together. All right, so once all four sides are glued together, I'm gluing them on top of another Dollar Tree frame. And instead of adding glue, I'm actually adding some caulking onto the sides and the creases just to hold it together a little bit better. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and paint it with some regular paint, draw some lines on there to make it look like shiplap, and then just add a little welcome wreath on there. And that's basically it. I mean, this one looked maybe intimidating, but it was super easy and I think it looks really great. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure you guys leave me a thumbs up. Your engagement really helps me out so that YouTube recognizes that I'm working my booty off to make sure I bring you guys some really awesome stuff. Make sure you guys leave your comments or questions down below and absolutely, please don't forget to subscribe. See you guys on the next one. Bye. Just hope we can stay too